And we've learned one Baton Rouge police officer is still fighting for his life following an ambush over the weekend that killed three of his comrades. This comes as investigators released these chilling pictures of the shooter from surveillance video. You can see the shooter, Gavin Long, wearing all black and heavily armed during the shootout. Meanwhile, hundreds of people showed support for the victim's families at a candlelight vigil outside of Baton Rouge Church last night. And David Begno is in Baton Rouge. David, we uh, know that you talked to the police chief, I believe, and the, the sheriff. What more can you tell us about this ambush? Well, let's start with the deputy who is still in the hospital. He is a deputy with the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Department. And according to the sheriff, Sid Gotro, he is still in very critical condition. He was shot in the head. His condition is described as somewhat grave. He is an ICU and the term fighting for his life has been used multiple times. That memorial for Matthew Gerald was held yesterday and it was intended to be a memorial for him outside of his church, but it turned into a memorial for all of the officers and no one at the memorial had a problem with that. Mr. Gerald was a former Marine, a Black Hawk crew chief, a father of a three-year-old girl. He was raising another child, which he had adopted after he married his wife of four years. He had only joined the Baton Rouge Police Department less than a year ago, and only two weeks ago was given the opportunity to start patrolling the streets of Baton Rouge solo, on his own, in a police car. We got some incredibly riveting and compelling details from the investigative team of the Louisiana State Police yesterday. The Colonel, the head of the State Police, Mike Edmondson, stood in front of the cameras within the last 24 hours and gave a chilling account of how the gunman moved through the area near the convenience store in Baton Rouge and executed, that was the word used by the Colonel, executed these police officers. And Anne Marie, I'm going to take you through a little bit of it. The call first came in Sunday morning before 9 a.m. of shots fired. And the surveillance video shows the gunman, dressed in all black with a mask covering a portion of his face, walking around the perimeter of that gas station holding a rifle. It had a sling on it. And he also, we're told, had a handgun at his hip and another rifle in the rental car that he had rented in Kansas City and drove down here to Louisiana. Over an eight minute, eight minute period, the surveillance video captures the gunman literally walking up at one point to a police car. He looks in to see if a cop is there, then walks away. It was clear, according to the colonel, he wasn't targeting civilians. He was targeting cops because he was walking by people at the convenience store as they were pumping their gas, going in and out, and he didn't bother them. He didn't even look at them, according to the video. But those people started calling 911. One. So the gunman's walking around the property. Police start responding. He sees an officer. He ducks behind a building. His movement is described as gifted and tactical. You see him pause on camera. He looks around the side of the building, steps out, and shoots one of the officers. Now here's where it gets incredibly sad and incredibly detailed. One of the officers died alongside a beauty supply store and trying to run to his aid was a second officer who came around the side of the beauty supply store building and ended up being shot. And it was a third law enforcement officer, a deputy with the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Department, who saw that second officer go down. That deputy was taking cover behind a dumpster and when he saw that officer go down, he left his safe place and ran to render aid and on his way to run to that man to help him, the gunman stepped out from behind the building and shot that deputy. And then we're told he turned his gun on the officer that was already on the ground and finished him off. That's a direct quote from the colonel. The video has not been released. We don't intend, we don't believe it will be released. And if it was, of course, we wouldn't show it to you because of how graphic it is. We do expect that some of the funerals, Anne-Marie, will be held. The earliest, we're told, could be held as soon as Friday. There will be memorials and vigils throughout the city of Baton Rouge today and through the rest of the week. David, very sad, very chilling. Thank you so much, David Begnell.